To find the oxidation numbers on the tin here in this tin 4 sulfate, we'll use these rules here. First off, there's no negative or positive sign after the compound. So it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. Tin is a transition metal, so it can have different oxidation states depending on what it's bonded to. Here, it's bonded to this sulfate ion. This is a polyatomic ion, and it has an ionic charge of 2 minus. And we have two of these sulfate ions here bonded to the tin. So when we look at ions like the sulfate ion, really one you should remember, ions, their oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. So the oxygens and the sulfur, if you add those oxidation numbers up, it's going to equal this 2 minus here. Since we have two of these, 2 times the 2 minus, we have a minus 4 for all these oxidation numbers. The tin, in order to have this 0 here, has to be positive 4. So the oxidation number on the tin in tin 4 sulfate is plus 4. That's why we call it tin 4. If you need help finding the oxidation number for the sulfur here in the sulfate ion, there's a link in the description to help you with that. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for SNSO42. Thanks for watching.